mastering, that, and, those, the magic of English demonstratives. Hello everyone and welcome back to our English language learning channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about demonstrative determiners with a specific focus on that and those. These words are used to refer to distant objects in the English language, and mastering them can add a new layer of clarity and precision to your speech and writing. First things first, let's define what a demonstrative determiner is. In English, demonstrative determiners are words that identify and specify a noun or a noun phrase. The most common ones are this, that, these, and those. Today, we're diving deeper into that and those. That is used to refer to a single object, person, or idea that is not close to the speaker. Imagine you're at a zoo and you're pointing to a lion which is a little far from you. You might say, look at that lion. So, when an item is not right next to you, use that before it to indicate distance. Just like that, those is used to indicate distance. However, while that is used for singular nouns, those is used for plural nouns. For instance, if you're at a beach and you're pointing at seagulls flying far away, you'd say, Look at those seagulls. Now that we've learned about that and those, let's do some fill in the blank exercises to practice. One blank is my car parked across the street. Use that or those. Two, do you see blank trees over the hill? Use that or those. Three, blank is the museum I told you about. It's just down the road. Use that or those. 4. I think blank are your keys on the table over there. Use that or those. Pause the video here, attempt the exercises, and then resume to check your answers. Great job for trying the exercises. Now let's check the answers. 1. That is my car parked across the street. 2. Do you see those trees over the hill? 3. That is the museum I told you about. It's just down the road. 4. I think those are your keys on the table over there. And there you have it. We've demystified the usage of the English demonstrative determiners, that, and, those. Remember, these are used to refer to objects, people, or ideas that are not close to the speaker. Keep practicing with more examples and soon, it'll become second nature to you. As always, thanks for joining us today and we hope this video was helpful. Until next time, happy learning!